Wireless care has really laid into the FAA. They say the agency had two years to prepare, and yet here we are. But the FCC did years of analysis and said all would be well. What happened? Why wasn't the FAA ready for this? Well, I'm not sure that the FAA um, it, it should get quite the, uh, the commentary that they got um, in, in, from at and um, The FCC may have done a, cu a couple years of analysis, but they're not required, and they didn't do an analysis of aviation safety. It's just not in the process. And that's one of the things that has to change going forward. Uh, well, Spectrum is a finite resource, and this is going to happen again. So they need to get that process locked down. Uh, FAA, uh, over a year and a half ago, while I was still there, wrote a letter uh, to the NTIA um, it, it, and, and, and raised the flag uh, about uh, the concerns about 5G transmission and aviation. Um, but there needs to be a more uh, robust process, uh, certainly. As, as you know, 5G is widely used in Europe. No apparent problems with any flights at all. Why and how is this different? Well, I can't really speak to what Europe has done um, other than Except to say, that it's working fine there. Well, they also um, have a different buffer band than we have here. Uh, they're operating, all their operators are operating at different power levels. Um, these interference issues are all about proximity of stations and the power level each station has, which uh, there's an infinite variety of, of uh, permutations you can have with that. The other thing is that telecom companies are not very forthcoming about their plans or where they're going to put stations, what kind of power. It's a competitive thing. Um, and so, you know, it, it's really hard to gather that information in a way that, uh, that the FAA can act uh, in a more timely manner than they currently do. I think the process needs to be start earlier and be more transparent. We're looking at interagency turf battles. Doesn't this go all the way to the top at the FAA? I mean, if we're telling the truth about it? Well, uh, technically, there's, there's, there's quite, a, uh, quite a collection of, of technicians and engineers that look at these things. Um, there is no final authority that writes off or signs off on, on a telecommunication company transmitting. And, and that's part of the issue. Um, FAA found out about the plan for 5G and then had its engineers look at it some time ago and saw that there could be an issue. Um, it just, it, it's just, it's a process that, that needs, to, needs to be more formalized and needs to start earlier. That's, that's for sure. Yeah, earlier than a few hours before it starts. Daniel Elwell, uh, good of you to be here. Thank you.